let's complete the journey of stand to the museum to like you get you get to the process of cleaning everything stitching it all together yeah like mark and like that suggested you know th this can be even on an animal that so burial pelters you know four or five meters long we've only gone to go up the front two thirds of it yeah th this can be like needle level stuff that's how you get to the thirty thousand hours yeah exactly that if it's that quality and you want to get everything open and then something like stan actually really complicated skull the skull's full of lots of little bones the bones are really fragile so that just adds to the time i mean at least the ankylosaurus the skull is just this giant solid block of bone which makes life a little bit easier so yeah they're going to put those hours in and that's really going to help them sell the animal which is ultimately what happened i mean stan sat in the black hills institute for decades i mean 87 and they sold it in like 2020 so they had it for 30 years uh sitting in their kind of little museum and then my understanding was basically the brothers broke the company up and that's why they sold it yeah but it was still incredibly surprising that it was sold for 31 million yeah i mean far more than i think anyone thought it was going to i mean i i I liken, you know, if you're not buying like teeth or an ammonite in some small fossil shop, you know, when you're buying, talking about things like whole dinosaurs and whole tyrannosaurs, I think it's a bit like the art market in it's worth what people will pay for it. Yeah. And so, you know, yeah. plenty of T-Rexes had sold for a few million dollars and therefore everyone thought it would, might be five, you know, 10 would be an absurd sum of money. And then, <laughs> yeah, it, it went for 30 and it's like, okay, well. To, I was going to say, someone wanted it that bad, but clearly not two people wanted it that bad, because if only one guy is prepared to bid 30, then it goes for, you know, a million more than the next highest bidder. But presumably two people, if not three, bid it to get that high. Yeah, it was uh, anonymous at the time, but now it's uh, Abu Dhabi's Department of yep. Culture and Tourism came out. That I they know were they've the ones. got it. And, uh, and then it's, that record has been since beaten, apparently, by... Uh, by Apex, the, the Stegosaurus, which I still haven't seen, though a friend of mine has sent me some photos of this thing. Is it impressive to you, this thing? Yeah, not especially. That's why I can't imagine that it sold for that much. It's a really nice Stegosaurus. It's pretty big Stegosaurus. Well preserved. I've seen other very good Stegosaurus, and I don't understand why that's worth that much more than something like Stan. But it shows you the market. So, so we're here in London. There's a Stegosaurus called Sophie at the Natural History Museum in London. Sophie is a young animal, so she's not very big. I mean, it's a sizable specimen. I'd say five-ish, six meters off the top of my head, total length. But Sophie's like truly exceptional like there's a couple of plates missing a handful of ribs a couple of bones in the tail i think a couple of toe bones like this is by far the most complete stegosaurus out there that sold for i think two hundred fifty thousand pounds so maybe four hundred thousand dollars about a decade ago so this has now gone up like a hundred fold for an animal which is quite a bit bigger but is way less complete so I, for me, those two things kind of balance out because size is always impressive and that's what the public likes, but also a complete one is better than a half a one or two thirds of one. So yeah, so how has the price gone up a hundred or from, yeah, 400,000 to 40 million in 10 years for roughly the same thing? A T-Rex is a little bit more epic than a Stegosaurus. Well, that's the, the thing, T-Rex has a massive premium on it yeah. because it's, yeah, a Stegosaurus is one of those top tier you know it's you can virtually do the less you know t-rex triceratops diplodocus brontosaurus stegosaurus it's in that first six or seven okay these days velociraptor thanks to jurassic park but it's <laughs> like it right but the, you know there's that's the list of like seven or eight things that any random human who doesn't care about dinosaurs and doesn't know anything about dinosaurs, but they've probably heard of them. You know, Stegosaurus is in that list and would have an idea of what it looked like. Oh yeah, it's got like the big stuff stuck along the back. You know, you, you'd get that answer from almost any, you know, 99% of people on the street. But yeah, it's, it's not a T-Rex. So how it's worth, yeah, 50% more. And it's not even a particularly complete skeleton apex to my understanding. Like I, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs>